so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We have to perform the indicated operation. The first step is to simplify each square root. To help us do this, we will begin by identifying the perfect square factors of the radicands. So for the first square root, 32 is equal to 2 times 16, and 16 is a perfect square because it's equal to 4 times 4. Let's write 32 as 2 times 16. x to the sixth is a perfect square factor because it's equal to x cubed times x cubed. Why the eleventh is not a perfect square factor, but why the tenth is, let's write y to the eleventh as y to the fifth times y to the fifth times y. This shows that y to the tenth is a perfect square factor of y to the eleventh. Then we have minus five times the square root of, we have two. x to the ninth is not a perfect square factor, but x to the eighth is. Let's write x to the ninth as x to the fourth times x to the fourth times x. And then we have y to the sixteenth, which is a perfect square factor, because y to the sixteenth is equal to y to the eighth times y to the eighth. Notice how whenever the exponent is even, we do have a perfect square factor. And then we have plus four xy times the square root of two. x to the fourth is a perfect square factor, because it's equal to x squared times x squared. And y to the ninth is not a perfect square factor, but y to the eighth is. Let's write y to the ninth as y to the fourth times y to the fourth times y. And now let's circle all the perfect square factors. 16 is a perfect square, and so is x cubed times x cubed, as well as y to the fifth times y to the fifth. x to the fourth times x to the fourth is a perfect square factor, and so is y to the eighth times y to the eighth. And here, x squared times x squared is a perfect square factor, and so is y to the fourth times y to the fourth. And now let's simplify. The square root of 16 is equal to four. The square root of x cubed times x cubed is equal to one factor of x cubed. The square root of y to the fifth times y to the fifth is equal to one factor of y to the fifth. And we're left with the square root of two y. And then we have minus five times the square root of y to the fourth times y to the fourth is equal to one factor of y to the fourth. And the square root of y to the eighth times y to the eighth is equal to one factor of y to the eighth. And we still have times the square root of two x. And here we have plus four x y times the square root of x squared times x squared is equal to one factor of x squared. And the square root of y to the fourth times y to the fourth is equal to one factor of y to the fourth. And we're left with the square root of two y. And now let's find this product here. We have x to the first and y to the first, and therefore the product is four x to the third, y to the fifth, square root two y. Now looking at these square roots, notice how we do have two like radicals here and here, because we have a factor of the square root of two y. And therefore we can add these two square roots, four x cubed y to the fifth, plus four x cubed y to the fifth is equal to eight x cubed y to the fifth. And therefore the expression simplifies to eight x cubed y to the fifth square root two y. And then minus five x to the fourth y to the eighth square root two x. This is our simplified expression. I hope you found this helpful.